Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And girl, I have some sweet, sweet tea for you, or actually, sweet, sweet questions with maybe some answers. But we definitely need to talk about uh, something that is going on in Southern Charm that is taking everyone kind of like by surprise. And yeah, you asked for it. I tried to find out. I'm going to give you some answers and we need to talk about it, right? But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel, now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. And let's talk about this mess. Hey, Dios mío. No. My friend, my soulmate, my sister. I am is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. Better? It's bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Girl, Southern Charm is good. I am so happy because last season, it wasn't the best one. It was weird and annoying and we were not into it that much. It kind of like flew away and like no one really paid too much attention to last season and the whole COVID situation. It was just not really, I mean, it wasn't like the worst, but it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't like what we used to it. So then this season, I was a little bit scared with some changes and some new faces. But then I came up to realize, oh, oh, these people are actually understanding the assignment. They're actually doing a good job, right? Um, Shep's causing Marcy. She, little things here and there, but she's bringing it. I mean, she's making her notice, right? Um, even Taylor, uh, Shep's girlfriend also like finding her voice and all of that so that's good and then we have the return of Naomi and we have Benita and we have um, Olivia which was a big surprise Olivia uh, came strong you know a lot of uh, some people are thinking that Olivia you know she's still fighting herself during this season and sometimes she just stay a little bit behind but you know what? I'm just telling you, girl, it's her first season. She's still kind of like finding herself into the show. So you cannot expect someone on their first seasons to be like, boom, you know? It's very weird that that happened. But um, Olivia and Venita, both of them, I'm actually very happy with those cast decisions because they they really have a voice and they really kind of like opinionated, but they're not extremely thirsty, right? Which we see sometimes in other people that they just become extremely thirsty and they're just, we're just gonna do whatever it, to be in front of the camera. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that they just came and they, they respect the OGs, you know, they kind of like, oh, let them do their thing. We are just doing our thing little by little. And I think it kind of like working out a little bit, right? Now, with that being said, there are a lot of people who are disappearing from the show and people are asking questions, you know, because little by little, we thought that it was going to, I mean, they were shown before. We assumed that some of them were going to be part of the cast or a friend of the show or, you know, and it, they kind of like have been staying like in the back, in the back, and some of them are like gone, right? And... I don't know. So I, I try, you guys ask me on my Instagram, which by the way, every time you have a question that you want me to find out something, make sure to DM me on my Instagram is like the easiest way. Or you can also send me an email because if you ask me questions here on the videos, I get so many comments that it could easily get lost. All right. But anyways, you guys, uh, uh, some of you DM me and ask me some questions about some of the people from Southern Charm. So I definitely try to like look into it and see what is going on. Um, I think there are like, I think four questions and those are what is going on with, um, Leva Bonaparte, Madison LeCroy, John Pringle, and Catherine Dennis, okay? Uh, because people have been noticing that even though they are being shown on the show sometimes here and there, they are not as involved as they were last season, right? And especially, like, we have two, two of them who are supposed to be part of the cast are Catherine Dennis and Leva Bonaparte. And then Madison LeCroy and John Pringle are were supposed to be friends of the show, but with like a big involvement. Well, now we are seeing that 
Madison LeCroy is nowhere to be found since, I don't know, a long time ago. John Pringle, I think he did, I, he wasn't a friend of the show, he did a cameo, you know, like he was like, oh, that, that background extra, yeah, that's John Pringle right there. And, um, and you know, so what I, what I find, uh, found out is that they were really not happy with everything that happened last season, you know? And when it comes to John Pringle, even though some people like him, they didn't really like him enough to bring him or to continue in exploring his story. Now, he is friend with some of these people, so that's why we will see him at some point here and there in another party, you know, but he is definitely not part of the cast per se, you know, he will be Mike and we will see things from here, here and there, but it's not like whatever he has to say, it's really important for the cast anymore because they, people didn't really, not enough people really connect with him to continuing being part of the cast. Now, Madison LeCroy, she actually wanted to be a part of the cast, you know, full time, then she didn't want to um, put her whole relationship on the show because the guy doesn't want to, he's very camera shy or he doesn't believe on reality show or whatever, and that really cost her her position on Southern Charm because they were like, well, bitch, if you're not gonna talk about all these people that you have been sleeping, the celebrities, and you don't want to bring your relationship, then what the F are you gonna bring to the table, right? So she is back just on certain episodes as, you know, kind of like to shook Austin's world because you know that there's those two, that toxicity will always be there. And that's basically her mission. Just like every time that she's there is, go, is, is to cause Austin feel anxious and, and annoyingness, okay? But she is not part of that cast. She's a friend of the show and actually had more involvement than even Pringle because, you know, she is connected to Patricia and to Whitney and, you know, to Catherine. So she kind of like have those strong connections, but it wasn't enough. Now, when it comes to Leva Bonaparte, the thing is people were not too happy with Leva last season because she was too preachy sometimes. But... That's not actually the full reason. The thing is like she's getting her own reality show, which I think is going to be called Southern Hospitality or something like that. And um, it's going to be kind of like a Vanderpump Rules, if I'm correct. Uh, but on Southern Charms, you know that she owns a bunch of restaurants and a bunch of things. So she's developing her own reality show, which is going to be the cause of major tension on Southern Charm. So I think that's the reason why she's also not a full time. Now, when it comes to Catherine Dennis, well, I think you saw my last video that we did about Catherine Dennis. So she is part of the cast. She is a full time cast member, but she hasn't been missing from those trips because of what happened with her and Clef Ravenel. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, girl, you definitely need to go and see my Southern Charm Tea playlist because allegedly she was a victim of domestic violence. And we don't know exactly if this part is true or not, but apparently it was from Clef Ravenel. So that's why she hasn't been too much into the latest episodes of um southern charm so that's what is going on with or cast with the people that you think it's missing some of them are or will be and some of them are not i just working out on some stuff so let me know what you guys think in the comments below are you enjoying southern charm do you agree with what is going on let me know and like always don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you around see ya bye